Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles Action Figure Mystery Box Search 140. Woohoo! Yeah, I, I missed out in the $2 billion lottery uh, a few days ago, so anyway. Um, got three more. These are closed boxes again, so they weren't part of the open batch. Still got some more of those coming. Um, you know, I don't know. This is some oddball stuff. I don't know what it is. Because this box on the on the left over here is really heavy, but I don't think it's die cast. This thing just, I don't know how to describe it, it just sounds weird, like there's something different or funky. Uh, this one says Doc Ock Spider-Man die cast motorcycle. Which I've never seen that, so that should be kind of cool. So I'm going to start in the middle here. If you guys get a chance, you know, click like, hit some subscribe, check out our other videos. Oh, and I did say something weird. Gosh, little Nicky. Anyway, that was a waste of time. Oh, I got some Lord of the Rings, uh, two towers. Um, let's see, eight? No, no, it was eight ninety nine. This says two ninety nine. Huh? Well, yeah, I'd buy that for a couple of bucks. They don't sell real well. I haven't had a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff, but they don't sell. Ah, I have not had that figure. That's the first first movie J. Jonah Jameson figure. Have not had that one. I've got two now. Um, I got a bag of stuff. I'm trying to work around. Oh, here's uh, that one's messed up. They don't they don't bring much anyway. But that one I don't even see it. It's the bubble popping pop loose. So that kind of that kind of kills it right there when those aren't sealed. Uh, a couple more finger wheels, uh, motorcycles, uh, slow sellers. Slow sellers, at least the other ones I had were. Uh, more snowboards. These look like they're sealed, so you know, again, slow sellers, but I might get a little something for them. Another, another snowboard. The color seems to make a difference, or it did on the other batch I had. Now, oh, G.I. Joe versus Cobra. Cobra Fang 3 with Cobra Claws. Have not had that one yet. I have not had that one. Card is, I don't even see it up here. Card is really messed up. Dang, I wish that I had that for the G.I. Joe show though. Well, if you've never been to the G.I. Joe show in Iowa, uh, you got to come. It was a hoot. Best time I've had a show in, in decades. Uh, Spy Troops, uh, let's see, Cobra Treadfire with Cobra Coils. So a couple of more G.I. Joe. Um, you know, keep it coming. I will not complain about G.I. Joe. I don't know about J. Jonah Jameson. I don't know if I need any more of those or the uh, the snowboards. But, you know, eventually if it's sealed, somebody, somebody will buy it. There'll be a market there somewhere. So let me get this out of the way and we'll get on to another couple boxes. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. I uh, had to go to quick uh, lunch uh, with my wife and do some uh, run some errands, so we're back. I'm back. Uh, Doc Ock Spider-Man diecast motorcycle. Let's find out. I'm kind of curious here. Oh, well, hey. So, you know, I am not an expert. I do not think that is Doc Ock's motorcycle. And it is, uh, it says die cast MX bike, but I don't know, it must be some plastic on it because boy, it's not, it's not very heavy. But here we have Doc Ock, which I'm guessing when he wrote that, he meant Doc Ock figures and a motorcycle die cast, but that's, that's not really how it was written, or it's not how I read it anyway. So a couple of Doc Ock figures, probably. Probably about the lowest priced figures in that line, I think. And I was just looking. Okay, so uh, here's here's the receipt. Uh, Walmart on uh, June 21st of 04. And uh, I guess it doesn't say the town on it. Uh, but the Doc Ock figures were $5.28 each. Um, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> really goodbye. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is interesting. 
I've had a few Zoids um, kind of up and down. They haven't been super duper sellers, but there's been a couple of pieces, so maybe it depends on the character. A uh, couple of pieces uh, were fairly valuable and uh, sold, I think, fairly quickly. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if these are the same ones. I don't recognize them. I'm going to take this big one out and see what... Death Stinger! Oh, that's cool. 2002. Uh, still sealed. Great shape on the box for that. Boy, can't, can't go wrong with that, I don't think. Uh, I'm going to put him there. It's kind of sort of see him. And this is Warriors Future Force Quad Walker. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. That's like a Legos thing. It says Mega Blocks. And that opens up kind of a cool piece. There's that. Um, I do not have a lot of luck with Mega Blocks, but I haven't had very many of them. 2001. So 2001 on the, uh, the Mega Blocks piece. Get back to the Zoids here. Oh, no, so this is one of the ones I did sell, Command Wolf Irvin. Did not sell right away, but it was kind of a pricier piece, as I recall. Um, and it looks like I got another one. And these boxes, I believe, are nicer than the ones I had. I think the boxes on the previous ones, the few I had, were not great. This is a, oh, Brachiosaur. So, kind of a cool piece. Is that a different year? It's a different uh, line. 2002 on that one. Uh, dinosaur toys are usually pretty popular in any way, shape, or form. Uh, War Shark, I don't know if you can see up along the edge there. A um, little bit of wear, some chipping, discoloration. There's a crease by the hanger there in the top. So this box isn't, isn't horrible, but got some shelf wear rubbing on it, so not as good as the others. And the last one, oh, another Wolf Irvin. So um, good enough. Boy, these uh, these last couple videos have been a lot of fun. Uh, we'll keep it going. I got some more boxes to open, so check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.